Okay, so what we've done with Sprint ID is we've brought a lot of the familiar Wear widgets right to the home screen. So you can see right here we've got the search bar. I can run a search immediately from the home screen. I also have Places and Placebook right here. So let's go ahead and take a look at Places. Looking for a restaurant. So let's take a look and uh, find maybe American restaurants for dinner tonight. I can go ahead and I can select a restaurant. One of the neat things that we've done with uh, the Sprint ID integration is we've enabled integration within the, the phone book itself. So I can add this directly into my phone contacts. I can save it right here. And then let's go back and take a look and hopefully Cloud's Restaurant we will see within the phone contact screen. <laughs> And we've got Cloud's Restaurant right here. So see that pulls right into the, the, the phone screen. Then we've also got some useful information right off the home screen here. Weather, we've got the traffic updates. I can cycle through the various uh, traffic updates here. It's gonna let me. And then if we go over this side, we got uh, information on movies. I can check out the social network, I can see where is it playing locally, check out movie times, I can also watch previews directly from here, I can see reviews, how other people have rated it. So basically everything that you found within the Wear application from restaurants, gas prices, traffic updates, it's all here but much more accessible. We've brought it all to the phone home screen. And we've also aggregated several uh, widgets within easy to, uh, to understand stand areas such as travel, shopping, news, entertainment and communications. So for example in travel, let's say I'm on the go, I click here and this has got all the relevant travel widgets right here. So maybe I want to go and rent a zip car or I want to find out if there's a traffic incident. I can click right here and it's going to bring me into that area of the application. 